Brought to you by AwesomeDrinks.com. It's Jen's birthday this month. Use coupon code JENS37 and save 15% on everything you purchase. Put down your Irish accents. It's time to make a cocktail. This cocktail is called the Monaco. Monoco. yippee ki oh. motherfucker. By... Oh, yeah, he just wanted to do that. I don't know what the glass thing is. <laughs> well, this the, is curd. It symphalizes the end Hillen, of the... A.K.A. curd. We call him the curd. The end of the quotes. intro. You spent it? Oh, you yeah. Know, yeah, what? Is that like now they have to turn the page? Yeah. Uh, remember those things? No, <laughs> that sucks so bad when you're a little kid. You're like, beep. You're now ready to turn. And it was always the narrator yeah. from like the like Bible books. You're like, oh. How many Bible books did you have? I had a lot. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Not. Fair enough. Okay. All right. So we're going to do an ounce and a half of Mount Gay. Mount Gay. Needless to say, it has nothing to do I with have, homosexuals. Uh, the Persian. It's, why do they call them that? That's a bad name. No, that's the name you want of the, the region. Yes. The area. Um, it's not the area. It's actually the guy that. Um, His name is Gay. Okay, so here I'll give you the the, the backstory. Mr. Gay. I, I could. Harry s- Gay. Go ahead. I'm done now. Are you done? I'm <laughs> now. Okay. I had to say Harry Gay. Um, the guy that owned the sugar cane field. Right. Was um. Gay. Had a a guy that came into work for him that was like a captain or something like that. And everybody loved him. Like, he was really Barbados. famous in the whole island of Barbados. 1703, that's a good time for that. And the end result of it was is that he, when he passed away, the owner felt obligated to name the product after him because he was so loved by everybody. Mm. What was so, his name? Uh, Mr. Gay? Like, was his name Gay have something to do with Gay? Yeah, it was something. Like, a it was Gay? like your uh, Theodore Gay, but because like you can look up the the backstory on this. I mean, like I've got so much stuff like the in the back pile of like my memory. Three hundred years ago. That's all right. Uh, Finest sugar cane, pure coral filtered spring water. I'm sure water. Jen's gonna find it before you do. Kentucky oak barrels. Oh, that's weird. These Kentucky. He's just gonna sit here and read while you guys. Savior <laughs> Mount Gay eclipse. <laughs> yeah, there's no nothing. Nothing. Okay. Mount well, Gay, I'm gonna start Mount making Gun. this. Yeah. So. No, yeah, you could totally do You could have been doing that 10 minutes ago. Okay, half ounce of creme de cacao. You didn't want to start the core spirit? Because you're holding it. <laughs> I'm holding it, curd. Do you want to take it? And me? we just got done having this discussion. If you want a real good creme de cacao, you can buy it from Tempest Fugit. Tempest? Tempus Fugit. <laughs> uh, Primary ounce. export market Drink in the United here. States. Ounce and a half. Get, I'm going to have to get this Tempest Fugit that, that curd says I should have. Because I, like I was trying to tell Kurt earlier, is there's not a lot of big name brand creme de cacaos. And I find that is, is devastating to me. There should be some made in like Dominican or something, because they have a lot of cacao there, or islands. <laughs> um, so we're gonna do an ounce and a half of Mount Gay, ounce of fresh lime juice, which he's doing now, he's pressing it. A half ounce of creme de cacao, and this is the reason we couldn't use the lime juice for the last episode, because we needed it for this one. It's named for Sir, Sir John Gay Elaine. Oh my God! First Where would that have come from? Oh, that was that was knowledge that just came out of nowhere. Oh my God! Except you didn't get the guy's name right. It was obviously First Sir Baron John. I explained Gay exactly Elaine. what the story was with the disclosure okay, that if you needed to fi- figure out what his real name was, you could go look it up. Wikipedia. Yeah. Dot. Sir John Gay you know what? Elaine. I've got enough stuff up here. Like it's my Scotch like data bank is taking up. Like that little section that should be used for like normal conversation with people. Why did you put it in the bottom? Okay, can I when can I finish a with friend my... of John Sober no, who inherited can't. the Mount Gillibo plantation distilleries from his father William Sandiford. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Agave nectar bar spoon right there. You're on, you're on a curd. Uh, three dashes of Angostura. Okay. Mm-mm-mm. Sweet nectar of the gods. This is gonna be an awesome cocktail. Ice me. <laughs> well, I was thrown off by by your words of encouragement. No, I'm excited for this. I think this is gonna be awesome. This is why I put this one in here. This I one goes out to you, Scott Fitzgerald. This is all you. Or Bayon. Uh, I think that's what that says. I uh, I figured I needed this one because we did the beer cocktail. I love these shakers. I love them. They're beautiful. I, know I think I is. bought like three of them. I oh, ended up, yeah. You lost them all, didn't you? They, they started to rust on me. You put them in this one? Yeah. You can rub that off, can't okay? you? No. Why not? It's, it's not and it's, it's a sanitary. Steel. It's a sanitary thing too. What do you mean? But this is the one thing that, like, if I'm working at a bar, 
I don't have time for this shit. Like, like opening it up? Yeah. It's but just, it's got the bay, the curved thing, so you, sh you can open it easier. It's physically possible to open. I can open it. Curve might not know that. Um, I don't know. Because it's got that that bayed, that bowed look. It, it always locks up on me. Yeah, but that wasn't locked. You were able to get it. There are if you use a cobbler shaker, those those fuckers lock permanently. You need to run them on hot water to get them back. Are you gonna take a taste test out of that? No, we're about. Holy that. crap, Kurt! You filled it right to the top. That's half an ounce over, dude. Dude, it's got a, like a. That's got like a. Where did you put the water? Okay, I see it. Um. That's got some nice lime lime sludge on the top. Sorry, now, it. this is supposed to be served with a ginger slice, but... I, I, yeah, can't eat ginger. Yeah, I yeah, don't have that right yeah, now. Yeah, it's not happening. Kurt filled this thing to top. <laughs> what the heck was that? Um, honestly, should be a... Should have been double strained. Fuck that. Put it in your mouth. Yeah. Doesn't need to be double strained. You want to know why? Because it tastes fucking awesome. It's awesome. The, ch the chocolate... It comes through, but it doesn't taste like chocolate. It actually tastes like cacao. Yeah, that's bangerang. Like what? Bangerang. <laughs> okay. Do you remember the, the the movie about the? No. <laughs> Robin Williams is. Uh... No, I'm recording this. Doubtfire. Time. No, it was. This is Doubtfire. <laughs> that's the movie, dude. No, it was when he was Peter Pan and he came back to the. Oh. The Lost Boys and the Lost Boys were like. The Lost Boys. Bangerang. Do you want to double strand this? No, it's fine. Because I have this. That's fine. You never saw that movie? I don't think so. It was a good movie. Bang a ring, bang a ring. So you like this? It would be better with Tempest Fugit. <laughs> okay, I probably will agree with you, but I don't it's have to. It's a great have cocktail, it. though. Because this is like a, a $10 bottle. I know. Uh, the vanilla might be nice to get. In. Honestly, you know what else would be good? Is instead of using creme de cacao, using creme de banana. What's that? Banana I liqueur? I don't have that. I only have 99 bananas. I, like I know. I'm just saying that that would also be a good substitute. That's the other thing that pisses me off. Is Do you know where to get one of those? Does Tempest Fusion have a banana? Yeah. Uh, Giffords is a good one. Giffords. I've seen Giffords. We had that discussion a yeah. multiple oh, yeah. times. Oh, yeah. And we could get that, right? Is that what yep. the thing was? I can get Giffords? Uh-huh. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to do that. I don't remember why we... Their we triple sack. No, the, the, the triple sack I have is good. Lux Argo. Yeah, that's okay. What are you talking about? There's some good shit right there. That's not Giffords. Giffards, I think it's French. I don't know. Whatever. So is Luxardo. Yeah. I don't really know. That's true. It's a town. <laughs> yeah. This is good. You make really random statements that I have to clean up all the time. No, You're like, no. Luxardo's French. <laughs> yeah, right. I just say, yeah, I agree. You do the same thing. You agree with whatever I say. That is not true. You do. You're like, yep. yep. That's so silly. I don't know. Maybe that's the end of yeah. No, I think you do that too. I do not do that. All right, maybe you don't. Okay. That's what makes it. You gotta have a little conflict. The I like the fact that the chocolate isn't dominant. I do too. I don't know what's dominant, and I don't know what it is. Maybe the lime. It's the lime and the chocolate. And I don't out. honestly think that this is. I can't taste. Any I've rum seen in. the new bottles of the Mountain Gate Eclipse. It's and it doesn't one. look like this anymore. Oh well, that's probably this gold three, look to it. Old. Does not like. I don't think that it looks like that anymore. <laughs> they changed the color. Yeah. Silver. It's more dark. It's like a oh, it's darker. darker. Yeah. They're probably a caramel color. Yeah. Um, uh, well, is it the Eclipse? Because they have a different... No, it's different called the Eclipse, yeah. Okay. That is like a two-year-old bottle. My shit's pretty old, because I've been doing this for a while, and I don't drink. Yeah. So, that's... I like it. It's... It, this is... You remember what, earlier when you said this goes in a coupe? Well, I don't remember what drink it was. It's Up, one of the down, yeah. Right? Up. Coop. That's this, right. This goes this way, yeah. because it has you, that tart You do have to back it up chocolate. by a half an ounce. Or, yeah, half an ounce. Yeah, whatever. But yeah. It, I have a small coupe. Um, what, what, four ounces? Three. Three and a half. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Yeah, because you're going to get an ounce of dilution against that. So oh, I can't do it about that. It's a glass. I th that's odd, because my coops at Wink were bigger than that. You probably got the same ones. You must. I think I, I think I knew this. I think those are the same ones you have, right? Oh, yeah. Well, they, the thing is, they make a cup. They make, like, three different variants. So there was probably a four ounce, and this is a three. Yeah, three I, would, I would always do a four ounce. I could probably start ordering a bigger size, because I have Colossal, so it's a nine. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy awesome. <laughs> but this drink isn't nine ounces. This is a good size because it's got that tart and that chocolate together, and it feels really good, and you like it, and you want to taste it. But after it's gone, I don't think you want to order another one. The tart and the awesome, baby. Dude, it's like awesome sauce mingled in, in rad flavors. Okay. Like it's, it's like rad candy with an awesome sauce caramel topping. What do you got for a question of the day? 
Sounds good, too. So oh, you need... I don't know. That was something that... It was like a candy, but not, not sweet. Something Somebody said like something. That. What's that question? What do you prefer, high class or blue collar cocktails? Yeah, high class or blue collar cocktails. Okay, now, I want a sidebar for a second. Okay. Because people are like, oh, you're not common man cocktails anymore because you're making cocktails that are all fancy and crazy. There's nothing about common man cocktails that says that has to be like Red Bull and vodka. In my opinion, Common man cocktails is like the 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 idea of everything. Like that you can go home and you make should this cocktail. chew tobacco. You should have a like Dale Earnhardt shirt on. Yeah, you got and like that, every, is that, is that every like common man cocktails. Every cocktail should be made in a five liter gallon like yeah. orange mug. Yeah, everything needs to be like a caribou. No, look <laughs> this the the theme the this is high Ooh, class. It's so right? low cup. This is flavorful and fun. But I'll it's done in a common man style, because I'm not... I, you know what I do? Have Watch. Let's have a party. Let's have a party. Anyway, are you ready? Red Solo Cup. We'll let him finish. I love Toby Keith. Okay. So, <laughs> the the idea behind this is that anybody can make these cocktails. That's there should what be a link to that video account. at the bottom. Can you link to a music video? He's freaking not even attention. Yes, you can link to a music video. Can you can even fucking can highlight you, and click on it. He's going to link to Red Solo Cup from T Toby Keith at the everybody bottom, knows, so you know what I'm everybody saying. Everybody knows what that song is. It's you not, know? Yeah, everybody knows that it's song. It's an awesome song. No. It's the best song ever. Anyway, <laughs> the point being, you don't have to, you can make this at home and still be kind of a high class, but do it in a common man style. You just throw that shit in the glasses you buy from awesomedrinks.com, Classic Coop. You squeeze some lemon or lime or whatever it is, you lick your spoon, and you, you drink the thing and you have a good time. You watch football, play it. While you're drinking this, put and you it in a red solo cup. Denver lose. You can put, put it in a solo cup. Drink it by the pool. It's yeah. gonna be only like pool. <laughs> if you put it in crushed ice, you'll get more out of it. <laughs> Fill that shit with crushed ice. <laughs> water it down. <laughs> that's that's all I gotta say. About Let's that. have. I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna log out before he gets a little crazy here. Uh, so you want to submit your recipes at recipe at everydaydrinkers.com. You should all know that by now. If you don't know that, then you now do it. Okay. Don't post them in the comments because I can't use that. Because um, it's just it's just chaotic. You want to go awesome drinks, you can buy all this crap. I don't sell alcohol, I sell glassware and bar tools like conical strainers. Why don't you sell booze, dude? I wish I could, man. I know, man. No, that would be really complicated, I think. Uh, yes, it would. It would. And very expensive. It's so much easier to sell the vessels that they move in. Of course, bitters are one of our probably leading products. So if you're looking for cocktail bitters, awesomedrinks.com, everydaydrinks.com for everything else. Facebook.com slash cocktail team if you want to follow us on Facebook. Patreon.com slash CMC if you want to donate to the show so you can skip ads and not feel bad about it. You know what? And if the last three minutes, if you take an animated GIF, what you'll see is Curtis didn't actually move at all. He was staring right over there the whole time. He's like, Ian. He's like, what's going on? What are they saying in the chat? Are they calling me a douchebag yet? <laughs> it kind of is. You're like, <laughs> I've gotten to the point where I'm pretty numb about douchebag. <laughs> Like, whatever. I ain't got poor bitters all over his face. We're done. That's it. Zigzag. Have a We're party. Red solo cup.